Big win, Don Wilson, here with Lyndon Whitlock. And, you know, just like Josh, didn't get to, didn't get to chat with you after your big score knockout, uh, you know, but we got you here today, post-fight at rec. You know, why don't you walk us through that big KO over uh, Corey Houston? Uh, you know, it was a tough fight. I know Corey's a great, great boxer, and um, it just went my night. It was just my night. You know, it, it could have been his night either way. Two guys stand up and bang, you know, someone's going to go down. Yeah. Now, were, were you were you going out looking for the finish? Because I know I know you know you have had a finish before, but I know people have still got on you. They want to see the finishes. They want to see the finishes, and you know you're usually not the guy to stand out there and bang, but you did, and it, it, it came through for you. Um, you know, I had a lot of uh, extra pressure outside of the fight with training camps and all that stuff. So for me, I was going out there to stand up and prove a point. You know, I'm here. I can strike. I don't need certain camps behind me to support me, and. The, that's all, you know, I can strike, I can do jiu-jitsu, I can do whatever I want. So I wanted to prove a point, Corey's a high-level boxer, and I wanted to prove that point that I could go out there and compete with those guys. And compete you did with the big KO. Now, you know, your hot button issue right there, you, you've changed camps, do you want to let us in on where you are now? Um, you know, I'm still with Pure BJJ, yeah. I'm training at Parabella in Oakville. Uh, to be honest, the only difference with my camp is Gavin hasn't stepped in doing all my striking, you know, it's not just once a week He's doing it twice a week now or whatever. So that, it's a very small change But it, it makes a big difference in the end result now did, did that little change affect you mentally going into the fight? Um, no, because I believe the changes I was making were the right changes for me But you know I, me believing that if I went out and I got knocked out everybody else thinks I yeah, made yeah. the wrong choice <laughs> So for me, I believe the changes I was making were right and the result proved my point, but it could have went either way easily, you know. Yeah. So. Now, now you had been slated to fight. I believe it was on uh, not EC. It was it ECC or Elite One. Uh, Elite One. Elite One. I guess it was Justin Bourgeois again. Uh, you know, injury force yet. Is that a fight that you still want back? Uh, you know, Justin beat me. I personally mean Justin get along great. He's an awesome, legit, really nice guy. But you know, as a fighter, I always want to get those wins back. And if it comes up, I'll take it. But you know, right now, I think there's more relevant fights for me. Now, you know, the score fighting series is coming up. You know, a few of your teammates are, are being thrown around that they'll be on the card. Is that where you'd like to find yourself next? Uh, the score has told me I will be on the card. We're just discussing opponents. I want a, a top guy who's going to push me to that next level. Well, you know, that's the argument. A lot of the time we've been going back and forth on the site. Are you top 10? Are you just outside of top 10? You know, are you top 20? We don't know. Where do you think you are in the national scene? You know, I don't care where I am. Josh is, Josh is on number one. I don't care where I am. You know I love you guys, you guys do a great job, but for me, I'm not online all the time, blogging, and seeing who's on there. I'm not the guy talking shit who's 500. I'm a fighter, I wanna go out there and fight, and it doesn't make a difference where I stand. I want top level guys, guys that are better than me, that I'm gonna prove a point that I'm here and I belong to be here. Now, do you want the guys that are gonna get you from point A to point B, point B being the big show? Yeah, I don't, I'm not gonna hear be in this sport and waste my time. I wanna be in this sport, beat better guys than me and prove a point and get to those big shows and you know see where i can go a big question that seems to be going around with a lot of fighters is you know the best road to take some fighters want the easiest fights get the best record make it to the big show some guys say that's bullshit. i want to fight the toughest guys and see where i stand which way do you think is you know what's your preferred method um you know if they offer me a fight right now with a guy who's four and two or a guy who's ten and oh i'll take the ten and oh at the end of the day, I want to prove that I belong in this sport. And being a guy who really isn't a contender, it means nothing to me. I want to fight the top top guys. And if I lose, at least I lost to the top guy. If I lost to a guy who's 4-2, yeah, it doesn't mean that much to me. I want to fight the best. You know, fans, I love it when the fighters come through with that answer. Now, Lyndon, before we let you go, family, friends, sponsors, you want to give a shout-out to? Um, all my gyms. Josh Hill, his abs. Uh, <laughs> Parabella, Pure BJJ. Tap Out, Burlington, Bruckman's Martial Art. These are all the gyms that support me. They've helped me through the good times and the bad. Uh, Black Guy Fightwear, Submit Gear, uh, SST. Anywhere else? Anybody else, Josh? I think we're good. I think you could butt you on what that Black Guy fight where you brought up something. You had your own walkout shirt last fight. Why don't you tell fans about it? Uh, you know what? The guy that owns Black Guy Fightwear is a great guy. He helps us out. He r truly wants to support us, not support a guy who's going to make it to the show. You know, like he believes in us, not the record. Yeah. So it's great to have those guys behind us. You know, he made a shirt for me. He's helped us out a lot, and it means a lot to us, big time. Got to say, fans, if you haven't seen it already, check out the Josh Hill special. Only complaint: it doesn't come in fat guy size. Two, 
check out the Linda Whitlock special. I hope it comes in big man size. I requested that. See, see, that's what happens when we get online. Guy. That's what happens right. when we get online, fans. Anyway, fans, big wind on Wilson. Lyndon Whitlock, top MMA news.